Welcome, sir, to 3rd Battalion, Bodica's Boys, 2nd British Army. During this training exercise, you'll familiarize yourself with the British Army of opposing fronts and its command structure. We will cover infantry deployment, lieutenants, mobile command trucks, and defensive emplacements. We will cover infantry deployment, lieutenants, mobile command trucks, and defensive emplacements. 3rd Battalion has just moved into the area. We need to move out and capture additional territory. This is an infantry section, the basic infantry squad of the British Army. Left click on your infantry section to select it. We're listening. Now, right click on the indicated position to order your squad to move there. Bob's your uncle. Notice how your squad moves. While moving in friendly territory, all British squads move using their assault stance. The infantry section is now entering neutral territory. Notice the change in stance. When moving in neutral or enemy territory, all squads adopt a patrolling stance. They move more cautiously, sacrificing speed for protection. When moving in neutral or enemy territory, all squads adopt a patrolling stance. They move more cautiously, sacrificing speed for protection. Let's help them out by deploying a lieutenant. Left click on your command truck to select it. Left click on the flashing button on the command panel to deploy a lieutenant. Left click on the flashing button on the command panel to deploy a lieutenant. Left click on the flashing button on the command panel to deploy a lieutenant. Lieutenants are the basic officers of the British. They are critical to the success of your army. Officer Excellent. Reporting. Your lieutenant is ready. Select your lieutenant. Right. Move your lieutenant to the infantry section. Remember, right-click near the indicated infantry section to move the lieutenant there. Move your lieutenant to the infantry section. Remember, right-click near the indicated infantry section to move the lieutenant there. Whenever a lieutenant is near infantry, his presence provides discipline to all nearby soldiers. Good. The star over your infantry shows that a lieutenant is nearby. This grants them combat and veterancy bonuses, so it's best to keep the lieutenants close. Since the lieutenant is so critical to the success of your infantry, it is important for him to maintain command range. Left click on the flashing button to order your lieutenant to follow an infantry section. Left click on the flashing button to order your lieutenant to follow an infantry section. Now, left-click on the indicated infantry section. Now, left-click on the indicated infantry section.
Now left click on the indicated infantry section. Yes, sir. Come on. Good. Position. Notice the symbol above the lieutenant, indicating that he is now following the infantry section. Select your infantry section. Just point. Now let's order the infantry section to capture that munitions point. Now, let's order... You have deselected your squad. Left click on the infantry squad to select it. Now, notice that your infantry are moving much more quickly with the lieutenant nearby. Watch out. Incoming enemies. Excellent work. Enemy patrol defeated. Your infantry might have had a tough fight. Good thing the lieutenant was there to keep them in line. Proceed with capturing the sector. It'd be nice to ride over there, eh, Captain? Proceed with capturing the sector. Proceed with capturing the sector. Off you go, gents. Proceed with Break capturing the sector. Breakers. On your feet, let's go. Group! Oi, listen up, gents. Break it up, you wankers. On your Lock feet, and let's load, go. Gents. We have Proceed with capturing the sector. Capture that, that area, let's go. Bob's your uncle. Here we go. Off we go, lads. Envelop the target and secure the area. All right, lads. Those munitions are better in Proceed eyes. with capturing the sector. Let's move. We could hit Jerry Lines any time. Proceed with capturing the sector. Grand Capture. Good. This sector is now under your control. Even though we have captured the munitions point, it is not secure. Unsecured points provide less resources. Let's secure that munitions point now. The British secure territory sectors differently than other armies. They use their mobile command trucks. Command trucks are the backbone of the British Army because they can be deployed anywhere on the battlefield. They allow the British to call in reinforcements where they are needed. More importantly, once deployed, command trucks also secure territory sectors. Select your command truck. Deploy this command truck to the munitions sector that you just captured. Left click on the flashing button to mobilize your command truck. Left click on the flashing button to mobilize your command truck. Listen up chaps, we're backing up to move command. Good. Command truck is mobile. Look at the minimap. All your territory is flashing. Whenever your headquarters command truck is mobile, your controlled territory will not be in supply. Sectors that are not in supply do not generate resources. Order your command truck to the munitions sector by right-clicking near the indicated position. There are many reasons to move your command truck. It grants resource bonuses to the sectors it occupies. It can deploy units closer to the front line or relocate if the enemy is attacking. The command truck is quite vulnerable while moving, so guard it carefully. Now that the HQ is within the munitions sector, we'll need to deploy it to secure the territory. Left click on the flashing button to set up your command truck. Left click on the flashing button to set up your command truck. 
Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. Left click on the indicated position within the sector to order your command truck to begin setting up there. HQ command truck is on its way. Left click on the indicated position within the command headquarters here, gents. Excellent. You have successfully deployed your command truck. Notice that the territory has stopped flashing. Your territory is now back in supply. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. Your munitions resource rate has improved dramatically as well. To build a machine gun emplacement, select your infantry section now. All right, looks Click like on the flashing done. button to access your defensive structure construction options. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Left click on the machine gun emplacement button. Left click on the machine gun emplacement button. Left click on the machine gun emplacement button. Position the emplacement by left clicking on the indicated location. Position the emplacement by left clicking on the indicated location. Position the, position the emplacement by left clicking on the indicated location. Finally, set the facing of the MG emplacement to cover the northern approach. Left click once more to start construction. Okay, stop standing around, we don't have all day. Well, Excellent. British infantry can also build structures like mortar pits or casualty clearing stations. The enemy has discovered our location. Stand to. An MG emplacement is an excellent defense against attacking infantry.
Enemy infantry neutralized. To provide additional protection for our troops, let's build a slit trench. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Click on the flashing button to access your defensive structure construction options. Left click on the flashing slit trench button. Left click on the flashing slit trench button. Left click on the indicated location to place the slit trench there. Set the facing of the slit trench. Unique to the British, slit trenches are defensive structures that infantry can garrison for additional protection from enemy fire. Build complete over Good. here. Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the enemy. Good. Notice that it is unoccupied after construction is complete. An unoccupied slit trench can be garrisoned by anyone, even the... Get down. Incoming mortar. That mortar is wreaking havoc on our infantry. Order your infantry to garrison that slit trench. Right-click the slit trench to order your infantry to get into it. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. Right-click the slit trench to order your infantry to get into it. Incoming mortars! Come on, let's hitch a raid, chaps. Get in there. Right, good job. Trenches provide extra protection against artillery. Let's take out that mortar. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commanders to attack it. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commanders to attack it. Our ground forces are unable to attack that mortar. We'll need to use a company commander ability from the Royal Commanders to attack it. You have been granted access to Gliderborn Commandos. Gliders are excellent for attacking positions behind the enemy's front line. To request a glider, left click on the glider button. To request a glider, left click on the glider button. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Now
Now left click on the indicated position to identify the starting location for your glider. Left click again to target the desired direction you would like the glider to land. Commandos reporting for duty. Order your commandos to take out that mortar. Remember your tactical training. Reporting their destroyed a German target. Now you know about some of the unique aspects of the British. You learned about the lieutenants and infantry, command trucks, and how to build emplacements. This concludes this training exercise, sir. Third Battalion awaits.